Buddhism lesson number 7 virtuous children what are we going to learn today today we are going to learn the lesson virtuous children in this session we are going to talk about the way to become virtuous children through the advices given by the Buddha let me explain how we are going to learn this lesson the lesson will be put out on the following slides read it with me the important points will be in red color. The difficult words are underlined and their meanings will be given at the end of the lesson in purple color. Lesson number 7 Virtuous Children Virtuous children are good, well-behaved children. The Buddha has shown the way for children to be good in their behavior. It is mentioned that a mind not engaged in any useful work tends to be bent on bad deeds. Hence, for one's own good, it is advised to be engaged in some useful work. This is written in the famous book of poetry, Sirit Maldama, as follows. Kimadevana Yahapata Vadaka Ebavin Yodanu Tamasita. The Buddha also advised on how one should partake a meal. It is mentioned that whatever food you offer anyone should be offered willingly and happily. Let it be served on a plate. Spitting at a place where food is taken should never be done. It is also not proper to make any ugly noise when food is taken. In Sirit Maldama, it is stated thus. Another advice the Buddha gave to children in particular was to keep the fingernails short by cutting them regularly and to brush the teeth to avoid them being dirty. This is stated in Sirit Maldama as follows. Dikaniya potu edunu, tibu be hondene kapanu, datn pele kunu bendunu, penei katalesa hondin sodanu. Sirit Maldama is a book of poetry written by Mohandiram N. L. D. Silva long ago. It is still being used as an excellent book which is like a handbook on good habits suitable for children. Virtuous children possess good habits. One such good habit is to consider what you do for yourself and what you do for others as equally important. Also to spread loving kindness to all beings. If such deeds cannot be adhered to, how can you expect a comfortable life in future life? This is mentioned in another book of poetry, The Lowada Sangharava, as follows. Atnveda paravada samavasi tanne Metsita sausata kerehi karanne Difficult words and their meanings. Bad deeds, bad actions. Partake, eat or drink. Willingly, readily. Possess, have. Adhered, believe in and practice. It's time for questions. Question number one, state five good habits of a virtuous child. Question number two, why should one engage in work always? Three, describe how one should partake a meal. Four, why should one give equal importance to what one does for oneself and what one does for others? 
Check your answers, children. Number one, serve food happily. Don't spit at a place where food is taken. Don't make ugly noises when eating. Cut your nails regularly. Brush your teeth daily. Number two, because one who isn't engaged in any work tends to do bad deeds. Number three, offer food willingly and happily. Serve it on a plate. Don't spit at the place where food is taken. Don't make ugly noises when eating. Last one, question four. Because as virtuous children, it is important to care about others as well. We learned the lesson virtuous children today. I have a challenge for you. Try to answer the following question in your mind within 25 seconds. Mention 5 good habits of a virtuous child. You did a great job children. That's all from me today children. Please download the relevant student note and complete the exercise. Draw or paste a picture related to the lesson. Thank you. Have a nice day children.